Today we're going to be making a uh, stonefly nymph uh, using the uh, extended body technique. First of all, go ahead and apply a very liberal amount of silicone. Be making a golden stone uh, here in this step. Okay, next I'll take a couple of uh, barbs for the tail. Lay those on where they're captured and at the right length. Okay, two of those. And I guess this is a little too long. I'll trim it off. Get it on there. Okay, those are your grasper tails. And now you'll see I'm going to lay a couple of other pieces on. And what this is, you can use monofilament. Uh, I'm using a braided line, which we can trim off later. The idea is I want something that's fairly strong and flexible to uh, be able to attach this abdomen onto a thorax in later steps. Okay, there you see you've got the uh, tail, uh, you've got monofilament or something else so you can attach the abdomen uh, to your uh, your hook and now I'll start this, this spinning process here and this is stonefly orange dubbing put your put on several small steps Okay, and now I'm going to, that's looking pretty good, but now I'm going to add more silicone on it. Uh, that gives it a nice gummy texture and helps uh, make it be a much stronger fly. You see right there, I'll smooth that out. And now I'm going to do another step here. And that step is I'm going to rib the fly. And I've tried several techniques for ribbing it. Uh, basically, what I'll do is start it just like that. Okay, bring that rib over. I'm going to snip that off there, push it into the silicone snip that off, push it in, and I'll trim those pieces off later. So that ends making that. So the point now is you just grab it, slide it off the mandrel, and set it aside to dry. You could either uh, use any number of hooks. Uh, I'll go ahead and use a scud hook. I really like the way they hook. Uh, I like that wide uh, gap you get. So I'll go ahead Go ahead and start this, trying to tie it while I'm peeking around the uh, the camera. My biggest challenge in doing this has been in trying to find a way to tie uh, while I'm peeking around the camera, which is between me and the vise. But you can get the idea. Okay, right here we'll go. And what this is, I'm putting a little lead on it. Because, uh, you know, as you know, that uh, abdomen will actually float. And so this gets it down. And I really like to have a stonefly that drops naturally. I don't want it to drop like a rock, but I don't want it to float. It just falls very naturally. So I want to build that part of the body up anyway. So I get that and cover. This isn't pretty, but it's not intended to be pretty because we've got a lot of building on that to do uh, before we uh, get up uh, and ready to fish it. And uh, let me capture some of these down. Okay, now I'll take a pair of pliers and kind of crush this down a little bit to give it a flat look. The next step I'll do is I'll take the body from the previous step and uh, I'll try to get that up there and you can see that thing is nice very nicely shaped. I 
and it's very, I'll get it up here where hopefully you can see it, it's very rigid, it's, it's gummy to the taste. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and put this thing on and just tap it on, tying it where there's just a little space in there where that thing can move around a little naturally. Trim that off. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and put what's going to be the wing case and I'll get it on down here close. Okay. Next step is I'll take the material I'm going to use for the legs and you can use any number of materials to make leg from uh, from grouse to uh, synthetic fibers you know it, I don't know if it matters a whole lot in this well I mean it matters some you got to have it to be somewhat realistic I like this flash we got here I'll go ahead and keep turning that get that filled up to what I want to be for an abdomen easily throw dubbing over it at, at this point if you wanted to uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take what I'll be using for the leg material, wrap it over, bind it down, and then after I bind it down, I'm going to smooth it back, get a couple of turns up front. Uh, again, not, not fancy, not beautiful necessarily, but you'll see in a minute it'll be entirely functional. Uh, I'll go ahead because it's got plenty. I'll trim those off the top. I'll probably be trimming some more to make it look more like the natural. Go ahead, finish the head, that off, get a whip finish tool, go ahead and whip finish this thing. Everybody knows how to do that. I'm not going to spend much time on that. Now I start doing a little trimming. Trim it back off the eye. Trim these errant feathers there. These that look a little long at the side. Let those hang back. But basically right there you see a very buggy looking fly. I'm going to trim this stuff that's way back here off also. That's not uh, necessarily natural. But you see you've got a gummy extended body fly, uh, good, pretty good looking from all your angles. It'll bounce right on the bottom. Uh, something I also do here, you can do or not do, because most of uh, these type of flies look somewhat molted, nothing's generally just that shiny, I'll just take a little black magic marker, mark that up just a little bit to take a lot of that, some of that shine off. And so there you have a very nice looking stonefly. Uh, it's got a nice hook gap on there. It's a good hooker. Bounces along the bottom like the natural. That uh, tail moves like uh, the natural. You can make these all the way down to size uh, 18 uh, for uh, little blacks uh, all the way up to uh, as large as you want to make it. Uh, this right here is about the size of the uh, golden stones that we find here on the East Coast. And I'll just say it's very, uh, it's very effective. Uh, what I generally do on that abdomen is, I'll t since I don't use a lot of these flies, uh, when I tie them up, I only tie up a dozen or so bodies, come back in three or four hours, and, and uh, they're done. And uh, they've uh, hardened enough to be able to... Uh, go ahead at that point and then uh, finish the fly. Uh, that ends this lesson.